he has been working on uh, group leadership projects and just getting like a sense of how it is to lead other people. For FTP, we're getting closer to field training and we're learning a lot of uh, procedures like DFAC and then how to fold your clothes, which is new to me. So it's a lot of learning. We're moving past uh, just the regular warrior knowledge. We're moving into like the nitty gritty stuff. I am the IG deputy this semester and a part of the standards team we've created the IG patrol to observe cadets in terms of their standards which could include their hair if they're unshaven they have their collar and it's uneven or stuff like that we each take a group and mark any observances we have seen and that's all I do I just go through and make sure every cadet that's in the group that I'm inspecting for that day is within standards and if they're not then I mark it on that sheet so this past month, we've been doing EAD presentations. They're these finance planners where we just kind of pretend that we're going to go somewhere for our EAD and just budget the entire way through. Getting input on what, what my flight needs to improve on and then what also I need to improve on to be ultimately an officer in the Air Force. What I like about our detachment really is that even though we're undoubtedly limited in our environment, we're still adapting all the time. So we're not just set on doing one thing. We're always thinking outside the box. And that I think that's my favorite part. I think very virtual, like it's been hard for a lot of the group commanders to kind of pull all the cadets into it. But in doing IG patrol, I've been able to see all the different training aspects and how they're going about it. And one of the coolest things I saw was in FTP where they were having cadets march on their screen and they had images where they had to call out certain commands and I thought that was really cool that was a good way to put it even though they can't do it in person yet they're trying to come over that and really help these cadets prepare for field training. I would say the, the creative part of trying to come up with a new GLP that adapts to the environment so I personally like helping out the GMC with their GLPs and you get to just make something new and creative and then see if it works and then see what they solve. AS class, we just finished up the intro briefs, and then I think our first like, real lesson was about social media in the Air Force and the do's and don'ts of like what you should and shouldn't post on social media. In our AS 200 class, we're learning about leadership, the leadership styles. It's important to be aware of your own personality so you can effectively work with others, know your weaknesses, and uh, it's a lot of uh, self-development from what I see. It's really helpful, not only for ROTC, but outside. We are currently learning about and presenting on our Medal of Honor briefs, and it's just to remember all of the people that have come before us and shown bravery and exemplify the core values of the U.S. Air Force and other military branches. And we're specifically looking at Air Force enlisted and officers who've earned the Medal of Honor and what their actions and how they got the award. So it's pretty cool. So right now we're pretty much going over like the technicalities commands or the legal of, uh, legal extent of our authority as officers. So more so like what can we actually do and what we're not allowed to do um, when we actually get put in command or work under someone, things like that. Probably, I want, I want to say like nice environment, the laid back environment, Captain Bug has created, I feel like it's more of like a classroom. Our AS class is only 42 people in a which is not a lot, but I feel like it's the perfect amount of cadets because everyone knows each other. So, and everyone is helping out each other. And that that is my favorite part, the camaraderie sort of that we have from being together already for two years. Every person is looking out for another. The people, just because I've been with them since last year and it's been great to see them develop as leaders and they're always funny and it just feels like a family. If I'm going to be completely honest, it's just going to class with all your friends because you know everyone within your class. So it's a really good learning environment, which I like. So I like all the case studies. I like anything where it's, um, it's integrative and stimulating. So we get put into these situations or we're giving these prompts where it's a very complex problem or rather it starts off somewhat simply and then it builds on to multiple complex layers of an onion because we know that's how people are and in the real life it's not going to be one problem it's probably going to be a series of issues that either escalate or de-escalate so we're thrown into case studies that pretty much answer or force us to answer and think about and reason um, how to navigate a complex issue. 
words of wisdom, I would say to just make all the mistakes you can make now. Not not intentionally, obviously, but like learn how to learn from those mistakes because when you get to be an officer, there's not gonna be a lot of room to like make those mistakes. My other thing would be to keep working hard, especially if you're candidating for one of the orgs right now, because I'm sure it'll be worth it in the end. For any situation, try to see the positive perspective. So no matter where we stuck, if we're stuck online, or if something bad happens, try to see everything as an opportunity to learn and always look for the next best thing that can be done. So let's say you can't go to the gym because the gyms in LA are closed, for example. So look for the next best thing that you can do work out at home, try to implement new ways, be creative. So that that is my advice. Here's something I told cadets in my flight last semester, and I think this is a great piece of information to have, is to be the leader who you want to be, not the leader who you think you should be. So that's something I'd say. As we are as 400s, whatever year that you're in and you're about to commission, we're almost done. All we need to do now is graduate and make it to the end. But technically, the end now is where the fun begins and the rest of our lives are ahead of us. So all we need to do is be ready to live it. We gotta take a chance to step back every now and then, maybe to breathe, maybe take a break, maybe take a trip with friends. You're not gonna have a lot of time as an officer, but at the same time, you'll have the most amazing experiences and the most amazing adventures. At least I'm hoping so. We just need to be very open to all the opportunities that we can get and just shoot for it. Attachment 075. This is Cadet Take Your Steel. And I'm Cadet Maverick Volan. I am the Wing Commander. And I'm Eugene Mack. And we just wanted to say a few words on behalf of the end of the month. First off, I just want to say uh, good work for continuing to push through all the difficulties right now. And thank you for staying all in. Great job, GMC. You know, whether it's marching in our room or moving the images on the Google Doc, y'all are killing it, honestly. And as we face the uncertainties of the rest of the semester, I know that we'll continue to kill it. All in, baby.